right, I got to show you guys this video. This is one of the craziest projects in energy that I think I've ever seen. So hydroelectric plants. But this now. So starting out, this is Switzerland, right? <clears throat> and what they're doing is they've got these lakes, and the the Swiss do this thing where they they go in and they make a hydroelectric powered mechanical battery setup with these two lakes. So like here, here's here's why this is it completely insane. What what they do is they've got this one lake, right, that's natural. Then what they do is they put a turbine, they tunnel in and they put a turbine between that lake and another lake. And then they pump energy up like they've got a wire up to the turbine. And then that takes water from the one lake and then puts it in the other one. That's an elevation point, right? And then that, when that fills up with water, right, what that's storing is potential energy that can be drawn on at any point in time because they can, what they can do is they can say, hey, I want this energy and then they'll just draw on it and they'll just, they'll just take it through the turbines, let those open up. And then anytime that they need that energy, it can draw back down. So what what's completely insane about this, I'm going to kind of like skip ahead in the video just to kind of show you guys how, how wild this is. So the first thing that's just like really insane. So like what they have to do, and this is a crazy thing, is there's no road to this. There's no road to where these lakes are. So they establish this cable system up these mountains in Switzerland. And these engineer dudes, they haul everything they need up there. So like any and all equipment needed for this purpose, a giant machines, drills, whatever, they bring it up to the top of this mountain. And that's where everybody goes to work too, is they, they go up the mountain uh, to do this. Okay, so one thing that you gotta know about the Swiss that's just crazy is like nobody on earth that I've ever seen is better at drilling into mountains than the Swiss. They have got this stuff on lock, right? It's completely insane. They can do things that I've just never seen done before, right? They're so good at moving rock. And, and, and basically, like I'm sure this is a giant infrastructure project, but if you look up, there's <clears throat> other things the Swiss have done with tunnels. Like they basically, they deterred Germany from invading them in World War II because they tunneled into their mountain passes and they put all sorts of guns up in there. And that's something that's even like worth another video. So it's just insane. And if you look at the scale in this video of the tunneling project and the amount of like rock that they're moving out, you gotta think like they're doing all this where they've already built a dam, right? But then also they're bringing up concrete or making concrete up there and they're getting everything that they need to do this project also up there. So it, it's just like a, across the board, it's just completely insane, right? So that this is, this is why I would say this is just, okay, so like check this out. So they're doing like all this drilling, all of this uh, construction. I mean, this looks like the mines of Moria, like the way these dudes have this stuff set up. They're making these giant caverns for these, these turbines. And those are really impressive too. So here in a second when we see those that's that's definitely just like the top top level piece of it of the St. Paul's Cathedral in London Now this is not in the in the mountain <laughs> The cavern was finally ready for the transformers to be installed but there was an issue They weighed over 200 tons which was too heavy for the cableway Okay so 200 tons is the weight of some of the stuff that they need to get up there. So what they're doing is they're, they built an entire like train system where I guess the cables are going to go to bring the, uh, the energy back down and they just put that thing on a track and just took it all the way up there. So this is where they're actually assembling the turbine. So this time lapse covers how they're installing all the pieces of these massive turbines that are going to handle the water and create the energy that's going to come from, like we were talking about before, the stored water in that lake. So there's these giant, giant turbines. Crazy. Nine blades. And in pumping operation, the runner turns in this direction, 
and the flow goes through these channels and goes to the Lake Mut to store energy. This allows to fill Lake Mut in about 40 hours. And in turbine mode, the water is coming from the Lake Mut, going through these channels, and the water flows through this channel out and is going to the Lake Limon. And for all four runners, we have a total discharge of 160 cubic meters per second. That's enough to fill four Olymp... Yeah, so this is just like, just completely insane. And these guys build, you see fast and efficient. I mean, it looks like a space station, right? I mean, this is, this is definitely next level stuff. So I think that this has got to be one of the most impressive engineering projects on planet earth. And you know, there's, there's a lot of things that come under that list, but this is, this is definitely up there. The Linth Lehman pumped storage site took 10 years to build came online in 2020. The feeling uh, after we have successfully done the project was it was great, of course, because this is a huge project. It takes a long time to fulfill uh, the, all these requirements. And we so 10 years it took him to do this, which it obviously with this video seems like it's it's less, but like, look at this. I mean, they just went up there, dug into the mountain, set up these massive super high-tech turbines and made a lake all in a mountain, a place that didn't have a road. I mean, I, I just, like, I'll put a link to this full video below for you guys to check out. I mean, this is just the craziest stuff. The sun or wind drops. Pumped storage gravity batteries like this were first developed here in Switzerland in 1907. And if you caught that, they developed this in 1907. So the pump storage gravity battery concept, like this is something that's well over 100 years old, which is kind of mind blowing because they've got this online in 2020. So that's that's definitely just something that, that definitely, I don't know, just kind of blows my mind, right? Now the full documentary goes through a bunch of other stuff with mechanical batteries, super fascinating stuff. You absolutely have to check it out. There's a bunch of other ways people are doing this. And, you know, the core concept is that, like, if you have an excess of electricity during the day from solar, wind, or even some other source, right, or even if you have uh, any sort of fossil fuels, you've got any of, of those types of things. So you just take all of that extra energy from whatever you have or anything that's not being consumed, and you can just produce it full force and then store it in the mechanical battery. So what you're gaining is efficiency across all your production. So you're storing away energy for later and then you basically just let it out when you need it. So that's a really cool concept here. There's a, <clears throat> another project that they do with tides that's, uh, and uh, wind um, there where they actually plant this giant like dinghy just this giant pillar out where the tides go in and they do um, battery storage with that. But that's for another video because I really want to show you guys the Swiss stuff. So if you hung out with me for this long, appreciate it. Throw this video a like and a comment and I'll see you in the next one.